A little more than a month after Providence Mayor Brett Smiley proposed his $586 million budget, city councilors are unveiling their revised spending plan for the city. An overview was presented in a city council finance meeting earlier tonight, which shows councilors want to reduce the mayor's proposed tax hike on homeowners, and they're in support of funding a second police academy. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie explains what else residents should know. Alex? City Council President Rachel Miller said the mayor's proposed tax hike at a time of overwhelming inflation would create a significant burden for some residents. City Council leaders say they want to achieve some savings for residents without sacrificing important city services. Mayor Brett Smiley's proposal would have meant the average homeowner would see a $400 increase in their tax bill while commercial properties would get a tax cut. The council's proposal would still raise taxes on homeowners, but only be about $226 on average. And after Mayor Smiley raised concerns that the council might refuse to fund a second police academy, we've learned the council will support that, but with the expectation that class would start training later than October as the mayor planned. Council President Miller said the timeline police shared, 8 to 12 months for recruits to graduate, wasn't adding up with the mayor's budget proposal. The chairwoman, the internal auditor, and several committee members saw that the budget also included 21 weeks for those 40 graduates of that second academy to be out on the street as officers. So that's nearly five months, just those 21 weeks. They would have had to graduate from the academy and be on the street by February 9th for that to be possible. Uh, I just want to say that over this past week in conversations with Mayor Smiley and the finance team, we were able to smoothly correct that oversight. Providence residents can make their voices heard at a public hearing on the budget next Tuesday night at City Hall. From there, it would need to win approval from the full council and be signed by the mayor. Councilors made a number of other changes to the mayor's proposal, including a partial hiring freeze. You can read that in my story right now on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.